Hello, today we are going through question 6 of your chapter 5 worksheet 2. We have gone through most of the questions in class. So we'll look at question 6, which wants us to construct a rhombus PQRS in which the diagonal PR is 4cm and QS is 3cm. Recall the first step that we need to take before we draw any quadrilaterals. Okay, our first step. We will want to draw a sketch from the given information. So in this question, we have a rhombus PQRS and they give us the length of the diagonals. So I'll imagine my rhombus looks something like this. Okay, and the two diagonals uh, are 4cm and 3cm. Okay, so the longer side needs to be 4cm and the shorter side would be 3 cm so pr is 4 cm and qs is 3 cm so i'll do a quick check that the vertices are labeled in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise manner so pqrs is an anti-clockwise manner okay so this sketch is okay next after drawing the sketch i would need to start drawing out my rhombus. Now the challenging part about this question is that they have not given us any lengths of the rhombus. So I'm going to start by drawing the length of the diagonal PR. And one very important property of rhombuses is that the diagonals make a right angle with each other. Okay, so I'm going to make use of what I've learned in the earlier part of this chapter, which is the idea of a perpendicular bisector. So if I have the line segment PR, which is 4cm, and I were to actually draw the perpendicular bisector of PR, and if I were to label, okay, so I will mark out uh, mark it out as 3cm so PR is 4cm QS sorry QS is 3cm I'll be able to form my rhombus okay so I'm going to start by taking my ruler and I am going to draw PR equals to 4cm Then now, I'm going to use my compass to draw the perpendicular bisector of PR. So I'll put my metal tip at R first. I have to open my compass to more than half of it. It's about three quarters. Draw an arc above and below the line. Then with the same compass, I'll put the tip at P, draw arcs above and below the line, and I have my perpendicular bisector of PR. So I'm not going to worry about the length first, okay, I'm just going to draw the perpendicular bisector of PR. Then, since they want QS to be 3 cm. Okay, so I'll need 1.5 cm above the line PR and 1.5 cm below the line PR. So I'll have this. I'll mark out. I'll mark out. Okay, so I have P, Q, R, S. Then I'm going to join the sides of the rhombus. Okay, 
Okay, and there you go. I have my rhombus, PQRS. Okay, so if you were to lay, uh, measure the sides, the length of the side, I have about 2.5. 2.5. Okay, so this is 4cm. Then QS is 3cm. So this is my rhombus, PQRS. A quick recap on how we have drawn this rhombus. The challenging part of this question is they've only given us the length of the diagonals. Okay, so after drawing the sketch, before I can actually start to draw uh, my quadrilateral, I need to plan. Okay, so for rhombuses, I know that the two diagonals actually cut each other at 90 degrees. So that is why I decided to use the perpendicular bisector okay, of line segment PR to help me get the points QS. And my rhombus will be like this. Okay, so I will not erase away the workings that I have to actually draw out the rhombus PQRS. I'll leave this as my answer.